Now let's understand the basics of Zorb. Zorb helps you automate any kind of task you do in your internal operations or other internal workforce in just a few minutes. The way we do that, everything on Zorb works on top of tasks. So when you want to deliver a product to a customer in a customer location, that is a task. When you want to uh, audit items, inventory items in your warehouse, that's an inventory task. Or when you want to simply report your expenses or do a customer sales visit, each of these are different tasks. Now, each of these tasks will have their own flows, it will have their own data points and they work in a very different manner. And the definition of each of these tasks is what we call workflows. So workflow, you can think of it as a blueprint for the task you're actually going to create. Now the workflow looks like this. It has a bunch of individual screens and how the flow is supposed to work. We will see more about workflows and tasks in the future videos where we'll explain all of these things in detail. Now, once you create these workflows and hit publish, the blueprint becomes live for all the users that you have. You can even restrict who you gave access to. And those users will be able to create the tasks and execute the tasks. Now, when they execute the task, the data that they collect or they operate with becomes available as part of the individual task. And this is also accessible to the users on the field. Now, this is the basics of how all the Zorb tasks actually work. Now, apart from this, Zorb also gives you the ability to manage your users, teams, and what roles uh, they have within the organization. We will see about in detail about each of these things in the future videos, but this should probably work as a small introduction towards how Zorb functions.